things hurt. And so we need to take medications, but often we can get the same kind of effect with much less side effects using natural foods. And so I just want you to highlight and think about how healthy is my gut? Could I potentially be doing something, especially if you're experiencing a little bit of dis-ease? Because dis-ease long enough can lead to disease. So what can you do? The one thing you can do to help your gut really perform at its best is today from lunchtime, eat as much color as possible. Color, ladies and gentlemen, does not come from M&Ms. <laughs> Paul and I were chatting about M&Ms and they're now targeting adults as opposed to children, which is good, but perhaps not so good. So we're talking about natural color. The idea though is to use these foods to displace other foods like sugar and perhaps refined carbohydrates. I much rather prefer to work with individuals and say what can we add in as opposed to what can we deprive and take away because of the cognitive biases that we have as human beings. It's not fun to take away the stuff that we love, but it is okay to bring stuff in. So can you bring more of these foods in? And the one strategy that works for me as a speaker who travels extensively, often at buffet lunches and restaurants and with clients, is to always put the color on your plate first. Because if you go for the fish and the rice and the chicken and the potatoes or the spaghetti bolognese or the Alfredo and put that on first, how much space will be left on your plate for the little bit of salad or greens? Probably not much. So you want to put the color on first and then top up with the rest. Chances are today the salad bar will be empty, so make sure that you get there first. <laughs>